Oh, uh, you're back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Fast Hike uh, channel. I'm happy to see you here again. Uh, it is in this corner everything happens, except from when I'm walking, of course. I have just finished editing the first part of my new film. It will be a film in five parts, where I try to give you a picture of what it is like to walk the Camino Frances, one of the most famous pilgrimages in Spain. I hope you will like the film and feel free to share it with your friends. And you, if you want more videos from me in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Let's roll the film. I'm in uh, Beritz and uh, I'm walking to the train station because I will catch a train that can take me to Saint Jean Pierre Boat. I uh, took the plane to Bilbao and then a uh, Flix bus to Beritz. And now I'm walking in uh, 30 degrees Celsius. I did a mistake. Yes. I should have bought a ticket to Bayonne. So now, therefore, I had to walk this ah, 30 minutes. <laughs> Waiting for a train to Bayonne. So now I have arrived in Bayonne. It's a bigger place than there is. Uh, I have 30 minutes between the trail trains here. I have to change train because uh, there's no problem to buy a ticket. And I think I understand what to do now. So now I will uh, have me a bite and uh, visit the loo. <laughs> See you soon. Inside Saint Jean Pierre Porto, and a lot of other hikers so stopped to feel. <laughs> it feels that you are on the right way. So I just arrived at the Saint Jean Pierreport train station with a lot of other hikers. This city is mostly known by it is the starting point for Camino Frances or the way of Saint James. I started early this morning, 5 o'clock, and I have traveled the whole day, and I'm a bit tired, and uh, it's very warm outside. Uh, I have not pre-booked anything, so I am a bit curious about where to sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, I will now walk a bit to the center of the old town of Saint Jean Pierre de Port. And I will come back to you soon. All hikers run away the fast they can. I don't know where they are going. If it is to the Camino office. looks good and there is the Pyrenees for the first time let's go inside the old town I arrived in the train full of other hikers 
it was really full <laughs> and you can feel the expectations or maybe some nervous nervousity I think it's really nice this and now I will go to the PGN's office to get to the PGN's office you need to walk uphill through this alley and you will find it almost on the top but you are a hiker aren't you so here it is Are you from Sweden? Sweet. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah. With the letters. Yeah. Because the other one. Information carry on. So, no, it's okay. So, quattro. 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 Yeah. So I went to the pilgrim's office and I met a very nice man. He gave me a lot of information and I will show you the documents. Uh, he told me that we have to start early tomorrow because of the heat and that we should bring a lot of water and he also gave me paper of stages that I can walk to reach Santiago. He gave me papers of Alberg and what they cost and the telephone numbers and phone numbers and so on. And uh, I also got the map over how to climb Pyrenees where they, I can uh, get water, where I can stay in the get something to eat, drink. You will see it here on the papers. So I suggest when you come to saint jean pierre port go to the Pigum's office and even if you have walked before, they have a lot of good information. And just across the street, you have Delbert. Okay, I was lucky at the first try. Here is my alberg. I knocked on the door and they had beds available. But it include dinner and breakfast for 40 euro. Okay, this is my room for tonight. Very good room. We have bunk beds and we have this that they put over the, the sheets. I also have this plexi, the plastic wall between the beds. That's really good. Good height.
the clock is uh, just after six and all of the hikers who will go to Raukas Heights today is already up. We let's say hi to them. Good morning everybody. Buenos días. Buenos días. Soon you are over the Pyrenees. The rooster is crowing and I have just left the uh, alberg and uh, now I am heading forward to the Pyrenees. I, you can say I was the last hiker from the hostel. The other have already left and uh, I will see what will be this day. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm back. <laughs> I'm walking here on the roads of Saint Jean Pierre Port and I'm all alone. <laughs> ah, here is a hiker. <laughs> we uh, may never start early today because of the heat. Morning. Morning. <laughs> I will turn around the camera now and you will see the Path that they will pass. Beautiful. So beautiful. And the church to the left, where they have a mass for pilgrims. I was there yesterday and I lighted a uh, candle. Now I will pass this. The clock is just uh, before seven, ten minutes before seven. And I go through this gate. <laughs> More than me who wants the picture. Look at this. I stand on the bridge just outside the path, you can say. It's a quiet this morning. We go through the city gate. Me and several others. Long time ago, people go, went through this. And you see here, the shed. Let's go up for the Pyrenees. It's really quiet. Buon Camino. But it started uphill directly and it's steep. Oh, 
my breath is fast already. I'm just walking for a few hundred meters. The bells of the church have just uh, called out seven times. And the morning sun is here and it's already 20 degrees outside. I covered by sun protection, <laughs> 30. And uh, ah, this is the first view you can see. This is what, what are waiting for you. Hello, I have walking for 30 minutes and it has been already some hills to climb but uh, I just want to say that uh, the first part up to Arizona is uh, about 8 kilometers is the steepest one and then it continues uphill uh, until we reach uh, 1400 meters of elevation I'm just starting climbing the hills. <laughs> the weather is fantastic to walk in. I'm almost alone at the road. I've seen a few hikers. Uh, I think the other hikers have started so much earlier than me. Because of the heat, it shall be up to 35 degrees Celsius today. I have uh, walked for about 3k and uh, now it's the time for the real climbing. We will walk around this corner and then up hill all the way up to this top and behind that there is Horizon. Oh, it's pretty drunk. <laughs> and, okay. So we have the river side where young people usually go and drink. We will walk up to the right and I will zoom in, see if you can see them. There are hikers all along up there, climbing up hills. <laughs> Now it started to get very hilly. Oh, I think this hill is crazy. Ah, and the sun is starting to get stronger. Oh, it's a tough hill this. We came from down there, and this is the magic view. <sighs> okay, keep on going.
okay the first stop oh yeah, this is tough Whew. look at this Can you see this? It's worth it. How amazing. No wind today. That's perfect. But the hills are steep to walk. change direction up to the path and a climb up to Orison. Oh, the hills are steep. Look at this. I have to lean forward to have the balance. Oh, and it's going right up. But we continue to walk. So after you have walked and looked at this marvelous view, you came to this part, part of the trail. And I know that behind that, behind that uh, corner, there is horizon. <laughs> it's nice to know. It uh, has been heavy up to this. It, uh, it's 22 degrees Celsius outside. But it feels like a uh, lot more. <laughs> I'm sweating like. Mm. <laughs> oh, but um, soon I will be at Horizon, and I have walked for about two hours. And uh, I'm looking forward for coffee and uh, some more water. But I also need sugar and salt. So I will see if I can find that. Woo! Yes, here we go. And then you come around this corner, and there is Refuge Horizon! We have been waiting for this. <laughs> yeah. Refuge Horizon is uh, an alberg where you can uh, stay. Uh, I think you have to book in advance if you want to be sure of a bed. Uh, I have never stayed here, but they say it's very good and familiar and you have your dinner together if you want I will have a coffee and fill my water yeah I'm looking forward to this and this is how it looks when you're sitting on their terrace and drinking your coffee <laughs>
Yeah, it's still uphill, but not so heavy as it was before Orison. I can see a few hikers in front of me. Not so many as I expected, but maybe they are ahead of me. It's fantastic to walk here. The nature is so green. And you can see the cows standing and eating in the side of the road. Oh. And my legs is working very well. It's tough, but it's, it's, it's possible to handle. I can manage it. Something I want you to know when you are walking here. You are walking directly under the sun. No shelter, no protection from the sun. So you will need to be prepared for this I have been walking for two and a half hours. I have a few stops for water and a longer one at Orenson. And how do I feel? I feel great! <laughs> I really enjoy this! <laughs> it's heavy, but it's so great. <sighs> I can hear my heart beating. Pum 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 pum. It just tells me that I work. I, my body is working hard to help me over these hills. <laughs> my legs, I feel a bit in my hips, but it's just the muscle who moves and working very hard. <sighs> ah, this is so great. <laughs> But it is tough. I'm sweating like crazy. My hearing aid had stopped a few times because I'm sweating so much. But, well, I like this. I can't describe why, but it's so crazy funny. Look, the rough nature. say about this breathtaking something like that and the road just still continue up 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 all the time up up the crucifix or statue you can say I will show, so show you later not only me looking for shadow
I met a few hikers that had a, a rough time, really tough. Uh, some have puked and someone need water and uh, something to eat. I stopped three or four times to see how they feel, that they speak with me, that they say something and I can look at them in their, in their eyes. I gave some some biscuits to one guy, he was really known, but he wanted to continue, so what can you do? More than talk to them, help them if they need that. Uh, here to the right you can see Spain actually. Uh, the forest over there is Spain. So soon we will cross the border. And if you see a white dot in the middle of the screen, I also see that. And I know that is a car selling beverage. So soon I can have a, something to drink again. Ah, good. Can you see the birds in the sky? Ah, fantastic. They are big. And down here, we are small. We, few hikers, who is on the road. But it's lovely here. Look at this country. Oh, it's amazing. Can you see? Wow. The Pyrenees. What a day. If you need shelter, nothing can stop you. Here you can find beverage, egg, and I took some salt also, just in my hand. Okay, more to go and uh, soon we are leaving France and entering into Spain. Oh, it's warm. It's great. I have energy. Uh, I have uh, still some biscuits and uh, water in my backpack. So, and my body feels good. Yeah, it do. Oh, look at this. One step wrong. <laughs> yeah. Five k to go to Santiago from here. Hello. Hello. Ah, no. Sin barbijo. Ah, vale. Pero a España no. 
pa yung alcohol. So we're entering Spain. So now I am in Spain and in the forest. It's an awesome forest. Look. And it feels so good to be in the shadow. Buen camino. When I'm walking here, I start to think at Joseph, at uh, Eilare. Uh, he really created a membership, you can say for our pilgrimage. Uh, he created a group of us. He was in, into it, I don't know the English word really, individual when we ride. Uh, but he created a team. And it was nice because we were from so many different countries and we talked four or five different languages. And, but he, he really did I would stay so much more just than uh, stay in uh, Alberg, in Alberg, Git, called in France. So thank you, Josef. It was a really nice day at your at your place. I came from there, and we'll go that way. I'm sitting here in the shadow. I took a rest. I felt that my feet needed to dry a bit. <laughs> and look at my body, how oh, it's sweating. It's really warm outside. And the arms are the same. A really wet. <laughs> ah, it's a nice spot. Quiet. Here we have a, have a few horses walking in the forest.
have a shelter for wind, windy days or days that are maybe heavier than this day. You can take a rest from the sun, maybe today. Ah, you can sleep here actually. You can sleep here if it's if it needed. Real nice. Even have a fire. Yeah, but let's move on. Oh, it's uphill again. And it's not so easy to walk on this, I don't know a word, cobblestones? Ah, rolling stones. <laughs> oh. You have to be careful. The few times you are in a shadow now, it's so welcoming. There are not so many Spots with shadow right now. And I'm climbing the last uh, hills and it's uh, ah, it's steep, but not as uh, it was in the beginning. But you know, when you have walking for three or four hours, you're being starting to get tired. But we will keep going. <laughs> See the car down there? It's the Guardia Civil. I just met them. They are at the road looking so the hikers are feeling good. I like that. I have walked now for five and a half hour and uh, how am I feeling? I start to feel a bit tired. Uh, the sun is really warm now. I don't know if but I think it's maybe 30 degrees Celsius and uh, I have drinking water so I'm less, I don't want more water. Uh, and my body feels still strong. So I'm happy for that. I have uh, no injuries, no really pain actually. I'm just more tired. Uh, we are climbing the last part of the this day's trail. So will soon be up to 1,400 meters and then we should decline down to Rangersvajes. But it's okay. My, I, I, had a, I had a lot of sweat in my forehead going down in my eyes so I had hard to see when I should use the camera. <laughs> but that's something you can live with. The signs are showing 1429. So now we are at the highest point this time. And this is the top. And you see happy hikers and the view here. Amazing. Here we have a choice to do. Uh, you can go straight ahead 
and uh, it will be a more steep part to a walk. Be careful if you walk that part because I have heard a lot of warnings here uh, uh, that the most injury happen when they're descending. I walked this road last time. It was down in the forest. It's uh, quite tough on your knees. So I think I'm going to walk another way this time. We'll see. I choose the road down to Ronkhasvayev this time. Uh, I'm curious about it, so that's why I tried it. Uh, and it feels good for my knees. And I have seen the other one. So ah, let's see what happened this time. So here is the road. And it's maybe a little bit longer. And you can see down there is Ronkhasvayev. There it is, in the middle of the screen. Okay, I don't know if this is the most fun part to walk, but it's anyway not so heavy on the knees. It's heavy, but not as it was at when I walked the uh, other road through the forest. Okay, there is a cow. And I will be walking around it. Yeah. Everything happens on the Camino. It's really nice to see the goal, but uh, I need to keep my focus. You're never at the goal before you are at the goal. <laughs> but it's a nice view. a few hundred meters left to Ronchesvayes and I have walked in, in uh, six hours and 30 minutes. The clock is uh, half past one. I think it has been a tough hike today due to the heat. It's right now it is 28 degrees uh, and uh, you feel it in your body after four or five hours of hiking. Uh, but it's, uh, my, my legs, I start, to, I, I start to feel in my legs that I have walked for a while. I can, it's not aching, it's not hurt, it's just tired. And my mind is tired. I really want to sit down on a chair, take a shower, wash my clothes, and maybe take a beer. But it will have been a really nice, nice hike. It's worth every time when you should uh, cross the Pyrenees. And here is the monastery and the Alberg. I just need to cross this road. Ah, and the church in the behind. Ah, really nice. Oh. oh yes, 
just a few steps. Few more steps. I am in Rojas Valles. I love to be back. There is other bird. to put the shoes and it's the same behind me it's corridor a lot of this kind of booth four beds in, in uh, old booth and got the bed down there and we also have a locker and possibility to charge that's good. And in the end of the corridor is a shower. One for women, one for men. Hello friends. I'm here in the kitchen with a glass of wine after walking. This is a message from YouTube. If you like this video, please put a thumb up for this video and share it with your friends. And I would be happy if you will, will subscribe to the channel and support me. Thank you. Good morning. The clock is showing 6.15. And the sun is starting to rise. And I am leaving Ronges Valles. This is tough. Thank you tree for helping me, cover me from the sun. <laughs> 